Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and I'm Orphides with Mending Hearts Counseling and today's video is going to be all about the art of letting go. Letting go of attachment to ideas about where we should be in this particular time of our life, uh, how many kids we should have, how much money we should have, how many anything we should have acquired by now. Attachment to idea, to an idea of where we should be in this moment. Not that we shouldn't have goals to become or be a certain place or um, have a certain amount of money. It's the idea of attaching to the outcome of when and why has that not happened already. Then we have attachment to um, beliefs about ourselves that are completely unhelpful. So how do we let go of those unhelpful core beliefs about ourselves. Also letting go of attachment to people and or um, situations that we think we should be having by now in order to be happy. Attaching to ideas such as, well, if I had um, three houses in Italiano as opposed to two, then I would be way better off. Or if I if I have this much money in my bank account right now, I would feel a lot better about myself. We, or inspired by um, a client that I had earlier today, if I was married to one of these people, my life would have been different. Like attaching to the idea that if she married the people that um, did not want to be with her, that the outcome would be different than her current experience with a person that actually wants to be with her. Which it sounds really absurd to even say that out loud. Could you imagine saying, um, I wonder what my life would be like with the ones that rejected me because in my mind, I think that it would be way better than my current relationship right now. That is your wound. That's not you speaking. That is your misguided ally. That is your wounded part of yourself that was developed as a child because um, this person actually has a lot of the same wounds that I do. There's a lot of abandonment in there and uh, rejection. So it is of no wonder that they would seek for that experience because that shadow part of ourselves needs that beast to be fed. And it can only be fed by that unpleasant experience of continuing to feel the rejection and the, um, the abandonment. So attaching to an idea of people, situations, um, amount of money, the way that we look, attaching to anything, anything, anything is actually the true cause of all of our sufferings. And that's why the Buddhists um, and the Taoists, they believe in this so much and basically is their Bible. Like attachment is the root cause of all suffering. And I did, I did write some notes on because I wanted to make sure that I don't um, yeah, miss anything because when we decide to truly let go of negative self-talk, uh, unhelpful beliefs about ourselves that are not true, um, negative thought patterns of behavior that are not serving us anymore, we let go of anxiety because anxiety is actually living in the future. So if we let go of the idea that somehow our future is not going to turn out as um, we hope it to be because of past experiences, like letting go of the, of the idea that things may go wrong in the future, like being anxious about what's to come. Why? Why should we be anxious? Like, let's let go of the idea of anxiety and like just live in the present moment because at the end of the day, the present moment is all that we can ever feel and the future has not happened yet. And now that we know that we are co-creators of our future, why not focus that energy instead of feeling anxious about it to focus on how we want it to manifest and how we want it to be and stay present in that feeling 
of thinking and being that which you desire to be in the future, which you can recreate by being this in the now. Then also we can let go of depression. Depression is um, living in the past. So letting go of the resentment of past experiences, past hurts, past anything. And the best way to do that is by gratitude. You can't be grateful and resentful to any person and or situation at the same time. So the best way to release resentment is to do gratitude for that person and or situation until the resentment factor is offset. And yeah, also letting go, letting go of people and I, and, 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 um, jobs that are just not serving us. If, a relationship is like not not working out. I, I know a lot of the times we hold on to people because we think, who else is going to love me? Uh, but um, I love them so much. And where else am I going to find someone? Or who else is going to hire me? Um, these kinds of limitations are actually not true and they will never be true. And we can only create those limitations by thinking those things in our head in the first place. So there will always be somebody else. There will always be somebody else and there will always be another job. As long as you let go of the idea that the possibility of that happening is not there, right? So you let go of the attachment to an idea that no one else can love you, no one else can hire you. So you can create that room and the space for that job to come in and for that person to come in, to love you and to hire you and to cherish you and to, 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 to bring forth all the things that you wanted to experience within yourself always. Um, I know it's easier said than done to let go because the ego, and the misguided ally that lives from within us is quite strong and powerful. But guess what? The soul is way more powerful than that. So we can override the wishes of the ego and the wishes of our shadows, which is our essentially like our unhelpful core beliefs that live within ourselves. So in the case of my person that I was speaking with earlier, with the abandonment wounds, their rejection wounds, like that beast that wants to serve that part of themselves so badly, so they want to attach, they want to attach to those that will give her that, that satisfaction of repeating that same cycle through recapitulation. That is possible to be beat with consciousness and awareness. Of this is taking place and I'm not going to choose that because the, the true you is the one that listens to this conversation taking place in your head anyways and you're choosing not to partake in it and you're choosing not to listen to it or hold on to it or attach to it or anything. Just witness. Witness. No attachment. We just witness these things and we don't have to be a part of them. Um, yeah. So... Whatever that was born in our childhood to protect us from the adverse environments that were unfolding around us and as we were trying to make sense of those and we started to attach to people and or things to make us feel better. Now as adults, we know we don't need to do that anymore. So let go. Let go of anything that is causing you suffering and choose to witness opposite Letting go of the idea of anything that you think that you cannot have or not acquire or who else is going to meet you there or anything like that will cause so much suffering. So letting go of all these unhelpful things will bring so much peace from within you and it can be replaced with gratitude and um, love for self and forgiveness for people. And of course, we always keep working on ourselves to become a better version uh, by being mindful, gratitude, meditation, um, journaling, affirmations, and we um, always do our best, right? The four agreements because things also don't just 
follow on our lap. We do work for uh, the th we do work for our successes. So always doing our best, being impeccable with our word, not taking anything personally because nothing is ever true because we interpret it through the lenses of our perception, which are the core beliefs become our lenses of perception that we acquired as kids. Therefore, things are never, are never as they seem because they can be viewed through so many different lenses of perception. So never assume anything. Don't take anything personally. Always do your best and be impeccable with your word and always just be grateful and let go and create the future that you want to experience because now we know that we can and we are co-creators of our reality and with the knowing that yes, we can. I hope you liked uh, this video. If you want to give it a thumbs up, please go for it. If you haven't subscribed already to my channel, please do so. And also, if you want to hear future videos, hit the notification bell. And any ideas, I welcome with so much love and gratitude. As always, see you next time.